So for the optical instruments, we are going to start with the simple microscope. or what you call the magnifying glass the magnifying glass now something um, interesting is going to happen by the time we dive into this particular aspect so a magnifying glass is just a convex lens a convex lens you should have guessed that it's not possible for you to use a concave lens as a magnifying glass because a concave lens will always form virtual diminished images and what you actually want to do with a microscope is that you have an object that is very close to you but it's very small and you need the object to become bigger so that means that you need a lens that can help you to magnify so and you have two choices of lens of lenses is either you use a divergent lens or a convergent lens but we have already discussed from the ray diagrams that we did that it is not possible for a concave lens to form a magnified image so that means that we are going to be using a convex lens as a what as a magnifying glass now something is very important here something is very important that we should know and that is for a convex lens to form image to form a very magnified image where are we going to place the object now from the previous diagrams that we drew we see that we saw that as the object is moving closer to the lens the magnification is increasing right as the object continues to move closer to the lens the magnification of the object keeps increasing so that means that the closer the object is to the lens the more the magnification we are going to have because magnification is v over u you see that it's inversely proportional to the object distance so that means that if you have a small object distance you are going to have a very big magnification now from this expression we have been able to deduce that it is important for our object to be close as close to our lens as possible now there is another limiting factor for magnification and that is the eye the eye is a limiting factor for magnification i don't mean that um the eye the way the eye has been designed i don't mean that it has ability to accommodate any size of image because when image images want to be formed by the eye whatever um, object that you see the image is going to be transferred to your retina then the image of uh, of that object is going to be formed on the retina now as the object is getting closer to you that means that the image that is formed on the region on the retina is going to be becoming bigger and as we have said that the retina has a fixed size so that means that if the object gets closer to you than a particular distance you will no longer be able to see the object clearly now that distance that the object must be from you in order to see still see it very clearly is what you call the um, distance of uh, least distinct vision but we usually call it the near point if you want to shorten it we are going to call it the near point so that's the closest any object can get to you for you to still see it very clearly so once it gets to the near point the image will still be clear but once it goes beyond the near point once it gets closer than the near point the near point of a normal human being is 25 centimeter for the normal eye is 25 centimeter so that means that once the object gets closer than this distance you will no longer be able to see the object very clearly so which means that there is a limit to the magnification that you can have because magnification does not make sense if the image is big but it is blur so you still need the image to be big but you can still see it very clearly so that's what is going to now bring us to the concept of um what do i call it 
that's what's going to bring us to the concept of what we discussed in the previous videos we said we have two types of magnification either it is linear or it is angular so this was going to bring us to the concept of angular magnification because angular magnification is very important when we are dealing with um, optical instruments so it's important for us to know about angular magnification for optical instruments now how do you get angular magnification now the angular magnification of um, a body is just the angle subtended by the body when you use an instrument the ratio of that to the ratio of the angle subtended by that body at the eye when you don't use any um, instrument to view the object that's what we call what the angular magnification of the object for example let's say this is the eye this is the retina then we can draw we can also draw the optical center for the eye so let's say this is our object now the object is going to substand a particular angle at the eye right so let's say this is the angle the object substands at the eye when you are not using any um apparatus to view it now if the object comes closer let's say the object comes to this particular point if you look at that angle that angle is going to change it's going to become bigger look at that compare this small angle to this bigger angle so the angle has gotten bigger so that means that as the object is coming close to you you are going to view that the object is becoming bigger that's because the angle that the object also sustained at the eye is also getting bigger so that's those are two ways of viewing the magnification this is just a normal occurrence that when you look at an object that is very far away it's going to be small right but when you get closer to the object the object is going to gradually become bigger and bigger so that's exactly what is going on in this particular diagram so that means that as the object gets closer to you it's going to become bigger because the angle it is substanding is also becoming bigger so how are we now going to get the value of alpha and beta this is actually a formula that i supposed to just write directly but it's important for us to also know how um we arrived at this particular formula so we just said it that the closest an object can get to you is what is the distance of um near point which is the distance of the least distinct vision so let's assume that this is the object and the object is now very close to us but we know that it can't come closer beyond 25 centimeter right so and this is what the height of the object now if we now want to view this object with a microscope we need the microscope to make this object to become bigger so what the microscope is going to do is that it's going to let us move this object closer than 25 centimeter and still see the object very clearly that means that we are still going to see um the object as a bigger object and it's still going to be what very clear so let's assume that this is the eye and this is our microscope now let's say this is the object now we know that let's assume that this is where the focal length of the microscope is that's the focal length of this microscope now we know that since the object is inside the focus of our lens it's going to form a virtual image behind the object right this is what we have discussed from formation of red um, when we are drawing ray diagrams so that means that the object is going to be somewhere around here which is behind the image is going to be somewhere around here which is behind the actual object as you can see that it has become what it has become bigger so now this object has gotten closer to us that means that it is now having a new distance so this is the distance of the object but the height of the object still remains the same right because it's still the same object even though the image it forms is now a very big image but we are now talking with respect to the object not with respect to the image now if we want to get the angular magnification which is alpha here we can do the tangent of our angle alpha 
tan alpha that's going to be opposite divided by adjacent so this will be divided by 25 and we can do the same thing here so it's going to sustain a new angle for this particular one there's going to be a new angle that is suspended this beta so here we are going to say tan beta is opposite over adjacent so height of object over distance of object right now if this angle is extremely small this is an approximation that we used to make that if our angle is small i will measure it in radian the tan of an angle is going to be approximately equal to the angle itself if the angle is small and the angle is in radian so that means that the angular magnification instead of writing it as beta over alpha we can now write it as tan beta divided by tan alpha now we have a value for tan beta tan beta is what the height of objects divided by distance of object then divide by the height of objects over 25 which is the distance of near points now this is going to become height of object divided by distance of object times 25 divided by height of object what do you notice you notice that these two guys cancel out so that means that we have a formula as 25 over distance of object now this is what how we get the magnification of a simple microscope because it allows us to bring objects closer than what they're supposed to be you know that if the object is closer than 25 centimeter you will no longer see the object you will no longer see the object well you still need the object to get closer so that it's going to sustain a bigger angle so that's why we are going to use our what, our simple microscope now in most textbooks they write this formula as d over d naught so instead of 25 they will use d this d is the near point near point and for a normal human being for an average person it's supposed to be 25 centimeter although for some people that are maybe long-sighted or short-sighted their near points would have might have been affected so it might not actually be 25 centimeter anymore so we can make a substitution you know that lens formula gives us one over v plus one over u right so this is going to become one over f is one over this is distance of image plus one over distance of object now there is one over distance of object in this formula so that means our formula is d times one over distance of object so we can write it d times one over distance of uh, one over f minus one over distance of image that's if you remove this from here you just make it so your formula this will come to this side and we are going to have this formula for finding the angular magnification of a um simple microscope so for a simple microscope the formula for the angular magnification is d 1 over f minus 1 over distance of image or if you want to write it in terms of object it's going to be what d over distance of object so that's how we get the angular magnification of a simple microscope is something that is very simple just um, know that particular formula now there are two cases that are very special that they usually ask us about there are two special cases one the first case is when the eye is relaxed looking at the image and the second one is when the eye is stressed now when the eye is stressed in most cases they still say when it is when the image when the lens is held very close to the eye so these are two special cases that we need to know the formula for this this formula is for what for the general case but these two are special cases that we are supposed to also know because we know that even though we are looking at the image the image still cannot get closer to us than a particular distance so we know that for when the eye is relaxed when the eye is relaxed that means that you are looking at the object and you are not feeling any pain in your eye and when this will happen is when the object or sorry when the image is at infinity when the image is located at infinity that means that the image that the lens is forming it is forming that image at infinity because we already mentioned it that when you are looking at an object at infinity it's going to be small right 
so you don't need to like stress your eye but when you are looking at the object that is very close to you you have to stress your eye before you can see it so when the distance of the image is infinity this is when the object when the eye is relaxed so what's going to happen so magnification will become d 1 over f minus 1 over infinity so it will now become d over f 1 over infinity is 0 so 1 over f minus 0 is still 1 over f times d that's d over f so this is how you get the magnification of a simple microscope when the eye is relaxed now when the eye is stressed that means that the image is very close to you but we know that no matter how close the image is the image cannot get closer than 25 centimeter or it cannot get closer than d which is your near point now this near point at this point the image formed is going to be a what a virtual image the image is going to be a virtual image why because virtual images are what your eye can really see if you look at this thing this is what this is a virtual image because it is behind the object so it forms a virtual image at this particular point and because the image is virtual we use a negative value for the um for the sign so this is going to become d 1 over f minus 1 over minus d that's if you substitute inside this particular formula so what are we going to have this is going to become d 1 over f plus 1 over d you open this bracket you get d over f plus d over d and this becomes d over f plus 1 so this is another formula that we need to take note of this is what when the eye is stressed and when the eye is stressed that's when you have the maximum magnification that is possible so the mag maximum magnification possible for a simple microscope is what d over f plus 1 and that is when the eye is stressed either they say the eye is stressed or they say when the lens is very close to the eye while the uh, the ma another magnification that you can have is what d over f and that is when the eye is what is relaxed so and that will be when the image is formed at infinity now all these two conditions that we discussed they are what they are talking with respect to the image what about the object what about the object now for this first case when the eye is relaxed we said that the image is going to be formed at infinity but if you remember when we were doing formation of images we said that if image is formed at infinity it means that the object is at the focus right it means that the object is at the focus so if the object is at the focus it means the distance of the object is equal to the focus so that means that we can use this formula and get what and get this as what d over f you see that it's still the same formula that we arrived at when the eye is relaxed whether you talk with respect to the image or you talk with respect to the object you will still arrive at the same answer we can do we can do um we can try the same argument for when the eye is stressed that means that when the object is at a distance of 25 centimeter and we still arrive at this same formula also but you don't really have much time to do that so just know that when you have a what a simple microscope there are three important formulas the first one is when you want to find the magnification generally the magnification generally is what d open bracket of what one over f minus one over distance of image right that is v if you like you can write it this way now another way you could have written this formula is to say d then over one over f minus one over v is what one over u so these are the two different formulas that you can use then we need to remember the special cases of these formulas so the first one is when the eye is relaxed when the eye is relaxed don't forget that the object is at what uh, sorry the image is at infinity so when the image is at infinity the formula is what d over f right and when the eye is stressed the magnification when the eye is stressed is one more than this so it's one bigger than this so you just say d over f plus one you just add one to this particular value so this is everything that we need to know for what for a simple microscope